Your House Live. Welcome back to another episode of Language Diary. I am Andros. I'm Demi. And today we are covering to have and to not have possessions and counters, which is a very interesting and difficult topics in both Mandarin and Vietnamese. Let's go. So first, let's talk about how to say I have something or I don't have something in Mandarin. It's pretty easy. Uh, if you want to say I have a laptop, you can say 我有一台电脑. So basically, mm -hmm. you just put uh, something at the end and you say I have, which is 我有 something something. Uh, if you want to say I don't have, mm -hmm. for example, um, 我没有书, that means I don't have books. Mm -hmm. So 没有 is don't have. Okay, fair enough. Should be that hard. Just 有 and 没有. Yes. Cool. So let's do some practice with Andros. Let's do it. I'm going to ask him a question and he's going to tell me if he has it or not. Okay. So, 你有猫吗? Um, 我没有猫 Okay 你有狗吗? 狗 我有狗 狗, is it 狗 or 狗? Dog, right? 狗, 狗. Okay, yeah. 狗 There's tongue, 狗 uh, okay. 狗 Okay Good Good um, How about 你有什么? Oh, 我有手机 Interesting. Where's your shouji? Shouji. Show everyone your shouji. Right there. <laughs> right there. Yeah, right we are there. using a phone to record. <laughs> and also, yo has another meaning mm -hmm. that means uh, it is something that is existing. For example, uh, there are five people in my family. Mm -hmm. We can say, yo mm -hmm. uh, so five oh. people. There are five people in my family. Okay, uh, oh, for example, uh, there are two pencils on the table. Mm -hmm. We can say, 桌上有两支铅笔. So basically, you're not saying that, um, do you say that there are two pencils on the table, not two pencils have something on the table. Because yeah. you're saying like, 桌上有 yeah. something. Yeah, because table is like non-living things they cannot have like possess right sure so it's kind of like an existing there are mm -hmm. two pencil or whatever on the table okay on the floor fair enough <laughs> so since we talk about possession uh let's do a small phrase that can um that, that describe uh that the uh, the items that i possess uh for example, you can say or your pencil or my book. Mm -hmm. uh, so in that case, remember we talk about uh, 你, 我, 他 in previous lessons. Yep. And we just add the after Ooh. those words. It's like of, right? Of. So it's like of in, the, in yeah. English. Like uh, 我的书, my book. Mm -hmm. uh, your pencil is 你的铅笔. Okay. Andrews, how to say uh ta the no mm, how Andrews, how to say <laughs> his uh, dog his dog ta the go good how about your cell phone ni the so yes that's nice and also you can put the after people's name for example okay. Andrews the shoji or like the me the Oh, okay. I mean, I mean that makes sense. That you know, like the name the acts as like a pronoun, like a subject, right? And the something like a noun, right? It's like belongs yeah. to someone. Okay. Yeah. So basically, you just say somebody the something. Fair enough. Okay. Next, uh, we are going to talk about counters in Mandarin. So usually, uh, when we count things or items, uh, we will put. Number, mm -hmm. counter, and then something. We we don't just say okay. e people or 
e book. There's something in between them. There's a particle, isn't it? Yes, okay. and depends on what items you are describing. Uh, this counter will be different. For example, if you say mm -hmm. uh, one person, two person, mm -hmm. and you can say 一个人, so the counter in this case is 个. Mm -hmm. Or um, most widely used is 个, you can use on a lot of different stuff. For example, fruit, you can use 个 mm -hmm. as well. And um, if you are going to say um, count people in a more polite way, or for example, when you go to a restaurant and the waiter or waitress ask you uh, uh, how, many, how many people ask you 几位, 两位, uh, in this uh, case, way is the counter. Uh, this is a more polite way. For what? For human? For human. Not girl. No, but uh, then this case usually used as the in like a more formal, um, okay. you know, like a settings or go to restaurant that kind of things. Uh, another one is for counting animal. Um, you can say 一只, 一只, for example, dog or cat. Okay. Mouse. You can say 只. And there's a more special one uh, that is called 双, that used for Things that is like in a pair, for example, a pair of shoes, a pair of socks, or a pair of um, like eyes. Okay. You have two eyes, right? Or or ears. Okay. That is in pairs. And uh, for clothing, so for like shirt, t-shirt, like upper clothes, we we say 件, 一件, 两件. And for like pants, uh. You say tiao. Tiao. Yeah, pant. Yeah, pants. Pant, okay. Pant. Like trousers, oh, trouser, like, okay. uh, jeans. And tiao also can be used in animal or fish. Like those, like oh. a long and oh, long. thin, like a snake. You can say tiao. Tiao. Or fish, yi tiao yu. And for books, there is a special one for books as well. Yeah. Uh, that is called ben. Uh, 一本书, 两本书. Okay, yeah. anything else? There are a lot more, but <laughs> you guys can explore it if you are uh, very interested into it. Uh, we are just going to cover some commonly used ones for now. Uh -huh. Okay, sounds good. How about asking questions? If you want to know how many, how much someone has, mm -hmm. or they are, how, how many there are, mm -hmm. and you can use 几, 几 is a question mm -hmm. for like how many, so uh, for example, how many people, 几个人, okay. the counter just match whatever the items you are asking about. Okay. Pretty simple, honestly, 几个人, First, give me an example, then ask me a question. Mm, how many books do you have? Um, 你有, huh? 你有几个, no, 你有几本, Chico Ben Shu Shu Jibun Wu Shu Jibun Shu right? Yeah. Yeah. Jibun Shu. Okay, let me try again. It's Ni Yo Ji Ben Shu. Nice. Okay. That's pretty tough though. But Yeah, but uh, also I uh, forgot to mention when we talk about uncountable things like uh, money or like uh, water, mm -hmm. uh we can use Duo Shao instead of Ji. Like, uh, how much money do you have? Mm -hmm. 多少钱? Or 多少水? Is it that, mm -hmm. because you don't need uh, any counter in between? Mm -hmm. uh, we don't say like a 几钱 or yeah. 几... Mm, actually, you can say 几元, but it's kind of weird. Anyway, okay, yeah. I mean, we, we can always stick with like the common way of saying it. Instead yeah. of, you know, trying to reinvent the wheel. So it <laughs> could be wrong. But yeah. Do xiao is for uncountable things most of the time, and ji plus counter plus something else is for countable things most of the time. Yeah. Correct. Yes. Okay, folks, move on to the Vietnamese side of things. Okay, um, so first thing we we'll cover is to have. Okay, so very similar to Mandarin, to have, you say ga. 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 Okay. Ga going up. Ga. How do you say I have a cat? Mm, em, ga, 
Gong Miao. Yes, mm. okay. And how you say, um, he has a dog. Mm. What is he again? Ang I like that Ang, guy, right? Oh, Ang I Ko 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 a, a, yeah. a what? A dog. Dog. Uh, Ang A Ko Kong Jo. Say again. Ang mm. <laughs> A Ko Kong Jo. 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 Okay. Perfect. I ask you a question. What if you don't have a dog? How do you say that? I talk about negate, how to negate a sentence in the previous lesson. How do mm. you say that? If ga is to have, what about I do not have? Something goes to the front of the word. Ga. Mm. Kong ga? Mm -hmm. That's perfect. How to say the sentence? I don't have a dog. Em Kong Go Kong Jo Jo Jo. Okay, sounds good. Okay, let's talk about possession. Let me mention the in Mandarin. So in Vietnamese, there's a word called Go, but the rule is totally reversed. Okay, in Mandarin, you say, you know. Like yourself, like the person who, who um, the thing belongs to, you say that person first, the, and then the, the tool, right? Mm -hmm. um, in Vietnamese, it's the reverse. You have to say the tool first, go, and the person. Does that make sense? Okay. So, um, let's, let's, let's do, let's make things practical real quick here. Um, how do you say, um, my cat? Mm, con mèo của... Toy. Yep. I would say my um, pencil. Bucci. Or. Kai Bucci. Go toy. That is perfect. Yeah. Very simple. It's just all of that. You know? Sometimes in casual conversation, you can just you know get rid of the go particles. But you know, um, I would strongly recommend to use go in any sentences to make it more full. And complete. If that makes sense. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna cover counters now. So for for counters in Vietnamese, there are a total of five main counters mm -hmm. that we you that we should always use. That you should, you should, you should know. Okay. Mm -hmm. so the first counter is called guy. Again, we covered this before mm -hmm. the previous lesson. And guy is for things basically. You know, for example, guy. like a um, computer, um, bottle, water. So that's basically for using guy will be the counter for those things. Okay. Next would be gone. 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 Gone is for animal. Mm. We talked about that. Okay. And for and the third counter is Gwen. 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 This is like a special counter for books and notes only. For example, Gwen Sack is a book. Gwen Ver is a notebook. The fourth counter is for tree. For example, it's called gay. Gay. The the counter gay itself means tree in Vietnamese. Okay. When you say when you say gay joy is banana tree, right? Gay and then the fruit itself. The fruit. Oh. And last but not least, for human. How do we count humans? Người. 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 Okay. Người. Got it? Okay. So how do you say one person? The number of the number goes before the counter. Một người. Yeah, một người. Okay. How about you say um, three pencil? Ba cái bút chì. Yep. And how about you say six dogs? Six. Sáu con chó. Yeah, sáu. Okay, sáu. Sáu. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yeah. Um, let's do question. How do you ask question when it comes to counter, right? Mm -hmm. um, so there's one word that is universal. Doesn't matter whether it's countable or uncountable. All right. So that word is called bao nhiêu. That's basically mean how many or how much. Repeat mm -hmm. after me. Bao nhiêu. Bao nhiêu. Okay. So you can ask a question. For example, how many dogs do you have? 
you say bạn có bao nhiêu con chó okay okay that makes sense mm-hmm. so bao nhiêu basically replaces a number right okay, okay. so that's one way of saying that for both countable or non-countable things right like money or water doesn't matter um but there is a shorter way of asking question regarding counting and that is called mate 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 okay and the important things here to realize that mate is only used for countable things and you cannot use it for uncountable things like water or money um how do you say how many pencil do you have using mate mate so uh bang uh ko uh-huh. mate yeah uh Guy book chị. Oh, guy. Right. There's I always, always counter. Forgot. Yeah. <laughs> Don't forget the counter. Very important. Okay. Okay. So you get it. Yeah. So to recap, today we talk about mm-hmm. how to say have something, don't have something, yeah. uh, possession, and asking questions about how many things and some commonly used counters. Okay. Thank you guys for uh, taking time watching this video learn with us practice hope we can both improve our language skills and hope to see you guys in our next video bye bye